Hello children, uh, we're going to do another phonics lesson today and we're going to look at the O sound, although you say it a little bit differently from me. So, this is what we learnt in reception, the O, A spelling of the O sound. You should know that one really, really well. Then in year one, we've looked at four more ways to spell the O sound. So the first one we learnt was this one the O-W spelling of O, like blow and snow. Then after that, we learnt the O-E spelling of O, like potatoes. After that, we got really clever and we learnt our split digraph. So the O has another letter, a consonant in between, and then the E comes at the end. And finally, we learnt that sometimes the letter O on its own actually makes an O sound. It doesn't always say O, oh, sometimes it makes an O sound on its own. So, even though we're only in year one, we have learnt one, two, three, four, five different ways to write the O sound in English. So we're going to practice some of those today. Let's see if we can sound out some words. We'll start off with an easy one. Can you sound out this word with me? R -o -st, roast. I love roast potatoes. Okay, our next one is going to be O oh, snow snow I can't wait for the snow to come in winter okay our next sound our next word has just two phonemes in it we're going to use this spelling which usually comes at the end in words and we have t o I stubbed my big O, toe. And our last word just has two phonemes again. N, O, no. When you were in reception, you learnt that as a keyword because we hadn't learnt the O sound already. But now you know it says O on its own, it's a sounding out word. No, thank you said Miss Fothers. Okay, well done. So let's have a go at sounding out some of our words. So, so say the sounds as I point to the words. Check first whether they're real words or alien words. Okay, here we go. P -o -t -a -t -os. Potatoes, well done, potatoes. Oh, here we've got an alien word, there's our alien. Sound it out. Remember that says the O sound at the end, sound it out together. F-L-A-P-I-O, flapio, definitely an alien word. Another real word, sound it out for me. G -r -o -i -m. Growing. Growing. Are your sunflower seeds growing yet? Oh, another alien word. P -l -o -n -ik. Plonic. Definitely alien word. Here's a real word. Sound it out for me. R A D E O radio. Another alien word. F L Oak. F L Oak. Floke. Not a real word. Another alien word. There's our alien. S K R O P D. Scroped. No, 
not a real word. And our last word, m a p o l, m a p o l, maypole. Mrs. Murphy loves to dance around the maypole. Well done. Okay, this bit is where you will need a pen and a paper. So if you want to pause the video and go and get that one, do that now. Okay, are we all ready? Now we're going to write some words. I will give you some tips which digraph we're going to use. So we're going to write the word slowly and we're going to use this spelling for the O sound in slowly. And here's Miss Fother's top tip. The E sound at the end of slowly is like the E sound at the end of mummy and daddy. And how do we write that? Do you remember? It is, it's just a Y on its own, a Y on its own. So have a go, write the word S-L-O-L-E. S-L-O-L-E. And this is the O sound we're using, slowly. Okay, when you've done that, let's have a look and see if you were right. Here we have the word slowly. S-L-O-L-E. Slowly. Well done. Okay, next word, a bit longer this time. Tomatoes. t o m a O's. Seven sounds in that word. So really stretch it out. T -m -a -t -o's. Tomatoes. T -o -m -a -t -o's. Tomatoes. Okay, have a go. T -o -m -a -t -o's. And it's this spelling of the O sound at the end of the word tomatoes. Off you go, have a go. Okay, have you had a go? Here we go then, let's have a look. See if we can put our sound buttons on. T, O, M, A, T, O, Z, Tomatoes. Good try, well done. Okay, next word is slope. I went down the slope on my skateboard and we're going to use the split digraph sound for slope. Okay, so remember the p needs to come in the middle of the o sound. Listen. Slope. Slope. Have a go. Write it down. Have you done? Let's have a look. Slope. 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 Well done. Last one is going. We write this quite a lot in our writing, so you should be able to have a really good go. And the word go just has this spelling of the O sound in it. So go. You're going to use this for the O sound. Going. Easy one. Off you go. Going. Here we go. Are you ready? G. O. I. Mm. Going. Is that what you got? Well done. Good effort. So. Now. We are going to. Have a go at writing a sentence. I hope you've got some room left on your paper. Listen carefully because you need to think about all the words in this sentence. Okay. It was snowing outside. So let's count the words. It was snowing outside. It was snowing outside. Now remember, you need to start your sentence with a capital letter and you need to finish it with a full stop. 
So we are starting our sentence with it. Have a go. Remember what a capital it looks like, please. Off you go. It was is one of our keywords. Snowing has this spelling of the O sound, snowing. And then outside has the O W, um, the O U spelling of ow in it. So ow, out sound, ow. Okay. And what do we need at the end of the sentence? Check you've got one. Okay, let's have a look then. Here we go. It was one of our keywords snowing outside. Oh, I didn't tell you about that split digraph. I wonder if you got it. Let's put our sound buttons on. It was snowing outside. And there is our full stop at the end. It was snowing outside. How did you do? Let's do one more. Okay, your next sentence is, we saw a hole in the ground. So let's count those words. We saw a hole in the ground. Seven words in that sentence. We saw a hole in the ground. And in the word hole, our O sound is going to be made by a split digraph. So it's going to be hole and the E will be on the end. 